This video is sponsored by NordVPN. World of there Warcraft is. is a fantasy game, and you can't uh, have fantasy that's true. without magic. Ooh. On your adventures in Azeroth, you'll find different forms of magic that can range from holy and righteous to pretty flowers and nature and fuzzy cute animals. Ooh, that's <laughs> nice. And even abhorrently evil and downright demonic forms of magic. Mm -hmm. The origin of most of this wizardry is based off of the most fundamental aspects of the Warcraft universe. Before there was an Azeroth, there was nothing. But you okay. can't have nothing without something. So in the nothing, there was energy what? that came from something. Okay. The most basic forces in the universe are the light and the void. These forces right. are the yin and yang that keep each other in check. Wait, so this is a legitimate real video? Yo, I thought this was going to be like a bullshit video. Like 100% I thought this was going to be a bullshit video. That's crazy. Without light, there is no black abyss of darkness. Without darkness, you can't shine the brightest light. And, oh, whoa, bro. We are okay. getting really deep. So, uh, okay, so there's these cosmic forces. They clash with each other. Mm, uh, yeah. uh, that's how life is born on the universe. There's Easy. some titan dudes. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Azeroth is there, and here we are now. Okay. Great. These cosmic about powers that? can be tapped into the form of holy or shadow magic. First, let's talk about holy. Oh, it's from the Imagine light, right? if the Pope actually had superpowers and he could he use does. the force. What do you mean? That is what holy magic is. For yeah, the humans, does. at least. In uh -huh. order to call upon the light to aid you, it requires your complete willpower to harness this mysterious force in faith that what you are doing is completely morally right. What the fuck? If you aren't completely faithful to the light and don't have the required positive vibes, you'll fail the vibe check and the light will not aid you. McConnell failed the vibe check. That's obviously why Shadowlands rep paladins suck. Pretty much makes sense. Yeah, I, I mean, there you go. Uh, everything is now explained. Uh, that, that's all there is to it, man. Not surprised at all. The Church of the Holy Light is founded on three virtues to make sure that you have these positive vibes. Mm -hmm. Respect, and noticing your place in the universe, uh -huh. and strive to fight for its well-being. The tenacity to fight Wait, in the name of the real? light, and realizing that what even the, the smallest fuck? actions can change the world for the better. And finally, a balance of what? compassion and consideration if your aid will transfer to a positive change in the universe. I'm waiting for him to fucking like be like, psych? That's Scientology, or something like that. Like, but is this real in the game? Sounds fine. Following oh, all these rules will allow a member of the church to mm -hmm. manifest a world of honor and justice. Wow. Now keep in mind, Light Magic's morality is based on the person that is wielding it. A perfect example of the light being used in a harmful way is the Scarlet Crusade, who oh, think yeah. the outside world is full of unclean heretics, tainted That's by true. the evil stench of- Hey! 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 I'm, I focus here, we're talking about critical <laughs> okay, aspects dude. of the lore. Of course, the outside world isn't full of yeah. plague-infested monsters, but the Scarlet Crusade illustrates how faith can turn into devout fanaticism that makes them close-minded lunatics. Yeah, they're nutcases. Other exactly. Yeah, they're crazy. Have That's actually really fucking cool. Like, I, I feel like a lot of the, uh, the, like, extended lore of the game is actually pretty well done. I, I wish they spent more time developing it so people would be able to appreciate it more. Because I think this stuff is awesome. I, I wish that we saw more of it in the game, actually. It, it'd be great. Read the fucking f the books. Well, who cares about the books? I want to see the game. I've also accessed the powers of the light through different yeah. cultural means. Sunwalkers worship the sun and she, which manifests into using more sun-based light attacks. Wow. You also have the Draenei, who have direct communication with the Naru, who are pure manifestations of light. Oh, Hell, shit. You even have the Light Forge Draenei, who are basically super soldiers who have let their bodies become a vessel to dispense light's justice. So they're taking steroids. And there's even the Blood Elves, who enslaved a Naru and sucked out its life juice. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Elves being dicks? Whoa, yeah, no, totally haven't heard that one before. Yeah, it is what it is. It's the way it goes. But what if, no matter how much faith you had, mm -hmm. the light still abandoned you? 
for the forsaken, this is the harsh reality they must deal yeah. with. Priests suffering from undeath can yeah. still call upon the light and it can still heal them, but it is just excruciatingly painful. In fact, Jesus. channeling holy magic and being healed by it can have a side effect where an undead can regain their senses. They can taste the decay in their mouths. They can smell their rotting flesh and feel the maggots crawling beneath their skin. So yeah, it's it's not fun being an undead. In fact, it's Bro, like Bro, what? That sucks. Yeah, I I didn't even know this. This is fucking insane. So they can feel the maggots in their mouth? No wonder the undead priests are always so angry. I'd be mad too. Really depressing actually. And that is why- Can you jerk off if you're undead? Can you or not? No? So, yeah, what if you pull it off? <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god! Undead, who were once members of the Church of the Holy Light, yeah. have transitioned to a new form of practice. What is this? Is this shadow? While holy magic oh, focuses yeah, on the emotions of the heart, like hope, courage, yeah. and comfort, the powers of shadow incite emotions of the mind, like despair, yep. doubt, and panic. In the light, you stand together as one, but in darkness, you are alone, fanatical in your yeah. pursuit for indescribable power. I always thought that undead shouldn't be able to cast holy spells. I thought that was stupid. Jesus! What the fuck? God damn! Shadow priests play off this characteristic of the corruptive influence of the mind. Yeah, it sounds Harnessing way cooler. The powers of the void involves riding the fine line between immense power and utter insanity yeah. as your mind falls victim to the old gods. That's really cool. Within the Forsaken, the cult of Forgotten Shadow is where many summoners of the shadows lie, but users of the void are in old god cults like the Twilight Hammer or what even the, the Black Empire. Yeah, I guess so. And speaking of evil corruptions... Oh my god. Uh-oh, it's Legion. The powers of fell magic are video. just as, if yeah. not more addictive than the Void. The most infamous users of this corruptive magic are the Burning Legion, of course. Yeah, they I are guess a near so. infinite army filled with demons that call the Twisting Nether their dude. home. This plane of existence was created when the powers of the light and void clash together on a cosmic scale, and this is where a lot of the fell and other magical energies reside. Every so demon like you find in the Warcraft universe was once uncorrupted, but under the command of the Legion, they've been tainted and twisted. The obvious example- Wait, so then where are the uncorrupted succubuses? Their drain eye? Um... Yeah, we need to find we need to find this out. Like Blizzard really needs to look into this storyline a little bit more and uh, see what's going on. Well, are the Eridar who used to be Draenei but accepted Sargeras's gift of power and they turned uh, uh they turned red. Oh, and, and, and mean and angry. They're, yeah, also, they're mad. Draenei who have been affected by Fell but have rejected its influence have transformed into the malformed Broken. See, that's what's kind of weird, man. Is like, I never liked this, this fucking change. Look at this guy here. Look at this guy. Oh, wait, 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 one second. Let me just pause it. And, and, Real and mean and angry. Also. Yeah, look at that. That's like a normal drain eye. who have been affected by fell. That's like these broken guys. Have rejected and then they turn into this. Have transformed into the malformed rope. Look at that. Look at that ugly ass motherfucker. I think they did such a good job about like doing this whole, uh, uh, th this, like, degradation. You know, whatever you want to call it. I think this is really, really fucking good. It's awesome. Okay. Fell hunters are also a great example of Fell's influence. Okay. This is what they look like now, but this is what they used to look like. These demons what? can also be summoned by practitioners of Fell. Really? But in order to summon one, a soul is okay. needed. Okay. How about that? Alright. 
This is a good video. What is this? Now, warlocks are not inherently evil per se, but when your class revolves- Yes, they are. Warlocks are inherently evil. Anybody that says otherwise is 100% wrong. Uh, warlocks are completely evil. And I'm like, they, they are, but that's okay. That's the thing. Warlocks are, yes, no, we aren't. Yes, they are. Uh, all warlocks are evil. And um, they, they control demons, man. They control fucking demons. They, they they use people's souls that they get from... Man, that's fucking... That's evil. That's evil shit. Like, if there was a boss, and we're like, what did this boss do wrong? And then we said, well, he summoned demons, and he stole people's souls after he killed them. We'd be like, damn, that seems like a bad guy. We gotta go take care of him. But you can play as one of these in the fucking game. They're evil, man. 100% evil. Death Knights... Eh. Warlocks around sure, sucking though. the life force out of innocence, harnessing chaotic yeah. and corrupting magic, and being shunned by most of society, it's kind of hard yeah. not to be the bad guy. Using Fell is sort of a get rich quick style of spellcast. Exactly. It takes time to learn, but you can get a pretty high power level relatively quickly compared to practicing other forms of magic. What he's trying to say is playing a Destro Warlock requires no skill. Which, if you've played Arena recently, you can attest that that is the truth. But the side effects of being a warlock oh, include shit. slowly turning into a demon, Wait, having what? everybody hate you, the sudden urge to burn down orphanages, oh, yeah, there vomiting, is that. and also having the need to help your friends by summoning them and giving them cookies. Yes. So they aren't that evil. Hooray! I think warlocks, most warlock players are like... They're like people that were all black in, black in high school. Yeah, they're people that were all black in high school. I, I would say that's pretty much the easiest way to like make an analogy to what a warlock is. Yeah, if you were all black in high school, that that that's a warlock. 100%. While Fell represents chaos, right. its counterpart is arcane magic. Wait, really? A form of magic I didn't know that. that requires order Holy shit. and knowledge. Oh shit. That takes too much work. Let's just go back to Fell. Think of arcane magic kind yeah, it's of way like too the much science work. of Warcraft. In order to hone such magic, Again, it way requires too much work. years and years of study in places like Dalaran, okay. Stormwind's Mage Quarter, or Azuna. Or really any yeah, other Yeah, something school. like that. One of That's the cool. reasons why it takes so much yeah. studying is because how diverse the magic really is. You can shoot pure arcane magic, or you can manifest it into fire or frost. There's abjuration, configuration, transmutation, annihilation, evisceration, mutation. But really, there's a lot of stuff what? you can do with arcane, from making muffins to teleporting around the world. And by the way, um... According Holy to this shit. book in the game, apparently it is possible for inexperienced mages to blink into walls, furniture, or yeah! even other people, and uh, they suffocate and they die, which is horrifying. They need to put that in the game. Like, they, they really do. They need to put that in the game. They need to do like a, like a glyph or some sort of talent. That allows your blink to have no cooldown, but if you blink into a wall, you fucking die. Like, your blink has no cooldown, but if you blink into a wall, you die. Like, that would be so fucking badass. Or, or like, it would be stupid and broken, and everybody would hate it, but it would be so fucking funny if it happened for, like, I don't know, a week or something like that. Yeah, a book reference. That's what they- they should do that for April Fool's. Just make it like an April Fool's joke to like any time a mage blinks into a wall, it just dies. It'd be amazing. A lot of the magic focus places on Azeroth are built on yeah. top of ley lines. Think of these kind of like Azeroth's blood vessels, oh, yeah, like except Sermar. they're filled with magic. Okay. The only problem is the Burning Legion loves finding these high doses of magic uh -oh. and corrupting it. Uh -oh. So users of Arcane need to find a way to mask the high Arcane dense locations. 
they can do this by setting up rune stones around their city. Don't you think they'd figure you that out? Make your city float in the sky. Yeah, keep it but away. Those are not foolproof ways to make sure that you are protected. No, they're not. Oh no, no. Sometimes they get in there. What the fuck is the this? The mages have kept something powerful locked beneath Dalaran to protect them. Is it Ragnaros? Nord VPN, the sponsor of today's video. What if I told you the Burning Legion is real and are cyber hackers trying to steal your information? With Nord VPN, you can mask your IP <gasps> oh, address shit. anywhere in the world, like the UK, Spain, <gasps> oh, Africa, Stormwind, Orgrimmar. Okay, well, yeah? maybe not those last two, but anywhere else in the world maybe and enjoy the internet stress free know. knowing that you. Are safe. Wow. Not only do you get How the best cybersecurity on the market, Absolutely but you can have incredible. up to six connections, and it also unlocks region locked websites yep. like Netflix. And if you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back. How guarantee. incredible is take that? My word for it. Here's How what one incredible of the most is prestigious that? Mages of Dalaran has to say <laughs> about Nord VPN. What does he have to say? Hello, What's... hello. My name is my name is Cadgar, and I love NordVPN. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. And look at all of these other technological experts oh, that shit. recommend NordVPN. Wow. Get sixty eight percent off that? of NordVPN, which is only three dollars and seventy one yeah. cents a month, plus an additional wow. month free at NordVPN.com slash Platinum Wow, or using the code Platinum Wow really at checkout. This Thank is... you, NordVPN, for making this video possible. Back to the video. The ad is now over. But really, that is probably the best one he's ever done. I'm gonna be honest. Like we have a uh, we have a NordVPN thing too for Allcraft, and I'm only I only need to have the the link up during the stream. But I think NordVPN pulled like the most fucking 500 IQ strategy with their their contract with us, and I only have to have the thing up during Allcraft. But I'm so lazy that it's been up all week. I just, I forgot to take it down. Because, like, I'll think, like, oh, yeah, I should take that thing down. And then I just never do. I, I completely forgot about it. Some mages of Dalaran, like Kel'Thuzad, are good frustrated ad. with the whole concept of morality getting in the way of their yeah. studies. And that is why many mages have fallen into the dark arts known as necromancy. Oh yeah, Kel'Thuzad used to be a mage. Practice the art of raising the dead and honing the craft of necrotic magic. Shit. Over time, their bodies will slowly decay, causing them to wither into the very creatures they raise into unliving. That's fucking cool. <laughs> Some of the most powerful oh, necromancers shit. are liches, of course. These yeah. high-ranking necromancers have had their souls linked to a container called a phylactery. In order to kill a lich for good, you must destroy their phylactery. The most famous lich is Kel'Thuzad, and in Classic, we didn't destroy his phylactery and gave it to some random guy. That's why in Wrath of the Lich- Yeah, I don't know how the fuck that happened. Why didn't they just break the fucking thing? Flackery? I thought it was flackery, but like it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, it's like, yeah, why did that happen? The quest? Yeah, it's like you finished the whole fucking thing, and like to be fair though, like the quest reward was pretty good, so I could see why you wouldn't want to destroy it. But still, classic, yeah. So what you what they're saying here is that Wrath of the Witch King and like all this other bullshit is caused by classic Andes. Classic Andes made everything go wrong. That's what they did, man. Classic fucking Andes. King, he returned, and then we defeated him again. Wow. And apparently, he's in the Shadowlands now, where we'll probably defeat him again. Does he have a flackery in the Shadowlands, too? Anger, cruelty, vengeance, I bestow upon you. My chosen knight. Oh, shit. I have granted you immortality so that you may herald in a new dark age oh, for the scourge. Death knights are another example of yes, powerful dude. wielders of death magic. Yes, These dude. warriors were raised by the Lich King himself. And dude, death knights? I still always wonder. Like, look at that fucking picture, man. Like, dude. That's two-handed frost. Yeah, you're right. Um, should I have gone DK 
in wrath. Honestly, the only reason why I didn't go DK in wrath is because my mounts wouldn't carry over. And if it wasn't for that, I would have gone DK. Because I had just spent fucking months firing for the Amani Warbear, and I did not want to lose it. And now I'm not moving back. I'm not going to DK now. But back then, I think that I would have done it. Yeah, and Blade. So, yeah, no, I still would have gone DK. DK was just so fucking badass. Like, I, I think DK is the coolest class in the game, in my opinion. It's either DK or Warlock. Warriors are just... The thing is, like, in, war, in, the, in the lore of the game, Warriors are like... They're like a footnote. It's like, yeah, so the Warriors were fighting, and then actually the Mage did something important. You know, that's basically what happens. It's fucking sad. Imbued with magic and trained to be the ultimate killing machines yeah. to serve as a weapon to force all of Azeroth into undeath. That's Many right. of the Death Knights defected there during the is, Battle dude. of Light's Hope Chapel. And despite there them being is. free from the Lich King's grasp, they are still machines of death. Yeah, it's true. All Death Knights struggle with an urge called Eternal Hunger, which is an unstoppable what? urge to inflict pain and suffering on the living so he's on gonna a regular kill the, basis. So he's gonna kill the rabbit. Yes. If Death Knights don't scratch this itch, they'll fall into madness and go on an unstoppable murder frenzy. What which the is fuck? the most badass and edgy thing I've ever heard in the Warcraft universe. Yeah, that's cool. And I'd cool. love to talk about it more, but we have more magic to talk about. That's fucking insane. So DKs are programmed to be serial killers? What the fuck? Yeah, that's insane. Like, yeah, I know. Dude, send them to cold shot? Yeah, of course, man. They're ticking time bombs. Now I know why they're all assholes, man. Like, everybody... The guy that we... Our raid leader in Wrath respect from... He was a priest, and he went to playing a DK instead. This guy... He never had to worry about going on a rampage because he was always on a rampage. Like, the entire night would just be him yelling at us. That was it. It was the whole thing, and it was great. Like, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, he, it was it was great, great time. Druidism is the total opposite of necromancy. Being a druid, druid. is all about oh, hugging yeah, trees, You're the right. beauty of the living world, and probably never taking a shower. The first druid ever was Malfurion, who learned the ways of nature from Cenarius. Yeah. Knowledge. Boom. And now the way he has druids the have such an intense connection to the world I'm is not... their ability to access the Emerald Dream. You can't say every time somebody's bald or every time somebody doesn't take a shower, that you can't say every single one of them is me. Okay? Like, it just doesn't fucking work that way. Like, it has to be more to it than just that. The Emerald Dream Jesus, is guys. a magical realm created by the Titan Freya to represent a blueprint of how Azeroth should be formed. Oh, wow. It's a version of Azeroth not affected by intelligent beings that altered the lands, so the dream flourishes with natural life. That's incredible. In the plane oh, of existence yeah. we live in, druids take a long slumber while in the dream, and during the slumber, they gain an incredibly deep connection with nature, which translates to harnessing its powers. Uh huh. I'm awake. I'm awake. There are tons so how do they of turn different into a branches bear? of druidism one can explore. That's insane. There are druids of the claw, talon, fang, grove. Well, what about the antler, fire druids? Scythe, raccoon, ant, muskrat. No. Monkey. Because just no, like it's nature, bullshit. druidism is incredibly diverse. I guess but so. druidism is just one aspect of nature. There's that deals are there with boobs really that big in real in real life or not real life, but like in the game? I don't think they are. Like, I, I've looked before. I don't think so. I, we're going to have to go over to, to Val Shara and, and check. But I don't think that's the case. ...is just one aspect of nature that deals with living uh -huh. things. But the other side of nature is more primal and deals with the elements that are yeah. the building blocks of Azeroth. Since the world's very creation, the elements of water, fire, air, and earth have been in a battle for supremacy. The okay. shamans are mediators who keep the elements of our world in check, Jesus. making sure one is never stronger than the other, and harnesses these raging elemental forces 
to strike down their enemies. That makes sense. The relationship between the shaman and the elements they That's wield a is picture. like a partnership. A shaman must be in good standing with the elements and work in their favor in order to harness their power. I always thought that was stupid. Like, I, I guess like it was and it wasn't. Like, I, I, I think that, like, it was kind of cool in a way, but it just didn't really make sense whenever I first started thinking about it. You know what I mean? It, it's like, it was like, wait, what the fuck? Like, how, like, you tell him what to do, like, to just go kill somebody? And then suddenly he thinks that you're on his side? Like, I, I don't know, it just didn't really make a lot of sense. Servants of the elements. Yeah, exactly. And uh, why the elements would be friend to mortal. Yeah, it's a little bit odd. But uh, I, I like it in terms of, like, the... Uh, like, the... The type of player that would be a shaman. You know, it's like the type of guys that would be a shaman are people that would want to befriend, like, a waterfall. You know, th these are the kinds of people that are like, yeah, yeah, this, this guy plays a shaman in game. Yeah, if you're trying to be friends with a waterfall, yeah, or like a rock or something like that. Not necessarily a rock, but like a really, really cool looking rock. Not just any rock, but a really cool looking one. I, I don't know, man. It's weird. Oh, no. The goblins. Oh, I hate these people. And then there are Jesus, goblins. I hate goblins. This is one of the most goofiest race and yeah. class combos in the game. Goblins are greedy oh, little trash. monsters all about making as much money as possible with the smallest amount of effort. Yeah. They don't really care about the world. At all. No, they don't. Yeah. The goblins are like... The elements are business partners who have been convinced to sign a contract, which seems reasonable, but in the fine print... What? It states that the goblins can harness the powers of the elements for their own personal gain. What? I feel like this is kind of a bit of a stretch to make this connection, but... Well, what happens if they don't fulfill the contract? What, do they have to go to court? What the... How the... What the fuck is this? The fuck? Like, I... No, really, I don't understand it at all. Like element, yeah, elemental court. It's like you make it. It's like making a contract with like a roach. Like the elements are like these super powerful fucking like omniscient forces, and the goblins are like, they're green. Like that's that's like the only thing they have going for them is they're green. Yeah, the elemental justice system, I, dude. It's so fucking ridiculous. I, I I don't understand it all. They're green. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, at the end of the day, who cares? At this yeah. point, WoW class and race restrictions are kind of just arbitrary lines in the sand. A fucking contract <laughs> with the elements? How the fuck do, how do you... is all the magic we'll be talking about. Like, how do you sign a contract with Ragnaros? Like, wouldn't he set the paper on fire? Like, I... about today. Doesn't there are sense. other subcategories, but maybe oh, I guess we they can have talk e about those in another video. Yeah, he used DocuSign. So, yeah. It's okay. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, Magic he's, he's DocuSign. Away! Okay. This is a good video. I liked it. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Gaze into my eyes and witness your doom. Oh, shit. Okay. This was a good video. I'm glad that I got a chance to watch it. Uh, I, I know that I had wanted to watch it the other day, and so I'm glad that I finally got a little bit of time to, uh, to take a look at it and, uh, look into it. There's a video right there. I just linked it for you guys so you'll be able to watch it, and, uh, that's basically it, okay? Yeah, good video? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, I like it a lot. It, it's very, very well done. I mean, with the contracts here? Let's see here. Um, let me read the, uh, the con the, the comments here. I mean, Platinum Wow is the internet historian of WoW after watching his NordVPN ad. I'm sure it's the same person, which I like. That was the exact thing that I thought of, man. That was the exact same fucking thing that I thought of. And, uh, Platinum Wow all craft gifts win. That's actually a really good idea. I probably should do that. Uh, yeah, it's a great idea. Have you got the strongest form of magic? The magic of friendship. Okay, SpongeBob. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, someone needs to make these kinds of mods. This is Doreem. The fuck is this? Uh, we're talking about critical aspects of war. Okay, dude. Uh, IS most fundamental aspects of the Warcraft universe. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I didn't even know about any of this shit, man. I had no fucking idea. So, uh, it's definitely interesting to see, like, kind of the advanced lore behind the game. Because I, I never had any idea about this at all. And I think it's really cool to see, like, the other options and things that the game has. Maybe the real magic is the friends that we made along the way. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's actually just the fireballs, man. 